Hey, I'm back. <laughs> okay, guys, I'm so sorry for this thing. You know. Welcome, teacher. <laughs> Welcome again. <laughs> oh, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> okay, guys, so I was explaining to you the difference between regular verbs and irregular verbs. Were you able to finish copying or taking notes? I didn't teach. Could you please repeat again? Okay, I'm going to play the presentation again. Share with you. You can take some notes. Let me know if you can see my screen. Can you? Not yet. No. Yes, in this moment. Okay, very good. Hello, Marco David. Hello, teacher. Wow, now you're wearing glasses. Yes. Uh, I have I... three days ago. Oh, because of the problem in your eye. Yeah, myopia and, and astigmatism. Oh. Okay. I'm yeah, but they will help you. Yeah. Huh? Very good. Okay, so as I said, regular verbs, you add ed, d, or ied if it ends in y. And if there is a consonant before the Y. Si hay una consonante antes de la Y, entonces, yes, I change the Y to I, E, D. If not, I just add E, D. And for irregular verbs, they can be the same in some cases, or they can change. And you have to learn them. You have to learn the past tense of those verbs, okay? Good, and now we're going to pass to the next activity, which is... Find someone who. Okay, in this activity, you have to write questions and answers in simple past. You have to find in the class or in the group that we are going to create, someone who ate fish last weekend, Someone who made lunch yesterday. Someone who watched TV yesterday afternoon. Someone who did the laundry last weekend. Someone who chatted on Facebook last night. Someone who went to bed late last night. And you have to add two ideas. How do you make the questions in simple past? This is very simple, guys. It's even easier than the simple present. Why, teacher? But because um, in simple present, what's the auxiliary that we use? What are the auxiliaries that we use in simple present? Do and does. Exactly, we use do, do or and does. does for the third person singular. But in the past tense, we don't need uh, two auxiliaries. We need only did yeah. only did for all the first, second, or third person we use did. Okay, so we put the we use the structure is the following: did at the beginning, then the subject, then the verb. The verb when you make questions has to be in the base form. The verb is in the base form. Entonces, el verbo ahí va en la forma base. ¿Por qué? Porque tenemos el auxiliar. Y cada vez que usamos el auxiliar, el verbo va a ir en su forma base. No cambia. Entonces, aunque es una pregunta en pasado, el verbo no va a ir en pasado. Porque ya el auxiliar nos está indicando, la de auxiliary did, nos está diciendo que la pregunta es en pasado. Besides that, when we make, when we talk in the simple past, we usually use expressions, past time expressions, like yesterday, last year, last week, 
last weekend, last Monday, last Tuesday, last Friday, yesterday, the day before yesterday, last night, etc. And the answers, the yes, no answers are very simple. Yes, the subject and the no, the subject and the then or did not. Are there any questions? Did is the auxiliary for making the past. Solo es auxiliar, no tiene una traducción. Bueno, no. En las preguntas no, it's the auxiliary. But um, in questions, I mean, in el did oh, yes. es el pasado de... No hay ni cómo salirme de aquí, no olvido cómo. Es el pasado de do. Mm. Uh -huh. Pero aquí es sí, lo que es como un auxiliar. Y, y, el, okay. y el pasado de das. Did. Did. Uh -huh. Y el de do. O sea que ahí dice. O sea que ahí. El de das. Did. Eso, lo o mismo. sea que ahí, ahí, ahí todos los, 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 los eh, subjects van a ser siempre did. Exactamente. Ok. Cuando usamos este, los verbos normales. Recordemos que hay una excepción, siempre hay un verbo que lo usamos de forma diferente. ¿Cuál es? Yo le digo que es ese verbo. To be. Exactamente, the verb to be. Ese verbo solo nos da dolores de cabeza a veces. Ah, just kidding. <ríe> ese verbo es especial. Entonces, ese verbo Special. no aplica aquí. Porque mm. ese es especial, ¿verdad? Ese lleva otra estructura que creo que no la han aprendido aún. No, no de pasado no hemos visto nada, Ticho. Ah, va. Entonces, eh, ahorita el, Mentira, el verbo tu bien, el pasado, ahorita no, nos, ahorita no, no, no pensemos en eso. Ahorita solo los demás verbos y con el auxiliar did, ¿ok? Ahora, ¿qué van a hacer en este momento? You have to make the questions. Van a hacer las preguntas. Por ejemplo, aquí tengo, eh, van a hacer esta tablita también donde van a escribir your name and find someone who. Van a escribir aquí el nombre de su compañero que hizo esto, ¿verdad? Por ejemplo, a fish last weekend que comió pescado. El fin de semana. May lunch yesterday. ¿Qué hizo almuerzo ayer? No, la gaje por la casa, señora. No, Watch TV yesterday afternoon. Alguien que vio tele toda la tarde ayer. Did the laundry last weekend. Alguien que hizo la lavandería o lavó su ropa last weekend. Chatted on Facebook last night. Alguien que chateó en el Facebook la noche. Went to bed late last night. Alguien que se fue a dormir tarde anoche. Y aquí van a agregar ustedes dos ideas. Estos verbos, they are in the past. In the simple past. Eat, a Está make, calientita. Make, watch. No watch. hierve, pero está caliente. Katia, we won also. <laughs> ok. Did is the past of do. Chatted is the past of chat. Went is the past of? Go. go. Go, exactly. And here are your ideas. And so um, these are the questions that you, this is an example of a question you are going to create. So right now I'm going to give you time to write the questions, okay? This is one of the, the first questions. Did you eat fish last weekend? Ay, es que ahí le, no, no lo cambié, perdón. La, yesterday, ahí le voy a cambiar. Es last weekend. Did you eat fish Teacher. last weekend? Teacher, los verbos que están en pasado los vamos a pasar al presente. No es que pasen al presente. Cuando es pregunta, 
En pasado usamos el auxiliar did. Entonces, cada vez que usemos un auxiliar, el verbo va a estar en su forma base. En su forma normal, el verbo no cambia. The verb doesn't change. Por eso aquí les he puesto hasta en rojo, ¿verdad? El eat. Did you eat fish last weekend? Yes, I did. No, I did it. Mm, ok, dicho. Uh -huh. Muy bien. Todos tienen la presentación en su voy celular. A Perdón, sorry. Teacher, made en, 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 en el presente. ¿Cuál es? Make. Ok. How do you say? Make. Make. Maybe you want to know the meaning? Make. The okay. meaning of make. Is to create. For example, eh, yesterday I made lunch. I made rellenos for lunch. Also, I made some tacos in the evening. May. If you want on the chat, you can write the questions and I will check if you are write, uh, writing them ah, correctly. Okay. Quiere que escribamos las, las preguntas en el chat. Please. Ok. Entendido, teacher. Very good. Did you make lunch yesterday? Did you eat fish last weekend? Did you watch TV yesterday afternoon? I am so happy to have such a smart student. You understand with the first time I explain. Todos me pueden escuchar bien. Yes. Ok. Very good, Carla Maritza. Did you do the week? Did you do the laundry last weekend? Did you did you chat on Facebook last night? Did you make lunch? Vamos a ver, Walter. El verbo debe estar en su forma base. Did you make lunch yesterday? Sí, esa. No sé si está bien. Did you do laundry last weekend? Did you play soccer yesterday? Great. Did you go to bed late last night? Yes, I did. Okay, guys. Now that you have the questions, I'm going to... Uh, Assign groups so that in your groups you ask and answer the questions. And if your class may answer, yes, I did. Yes, I did. You write the name of your classmate. But if your classmate says, no, I didn't, don't write the name. Say thank you. And you continue asking until you find someone who did the activity. ¿Puede alguien explicarme lo que vamos a hacer? 
No importa si lo dice en español. Vamos a hacer eh, las preguntas que están en el, en el right question and answer en simple pass. Vamos a usar el auxiliar eh, DIP porque vamos a preguntar si han hecho alguna de esas actividades. En, eh, por ejemplo, si comió pescado el, el fin de semana. Y le vamos a preguntar a los del grupo y ellos van a, los que sí lo hicieron van a contestar, yes, I did. Los que no, pues no, I didn't. Y vamos a tomar nota de los nombres de quienes dicen de que, de que afirman de que sí hicieron esa actividad. Exactly. Y no van a escribir los nombres de quienes dicen que no. no. Esos no mm. los van a escribir. Only if they say yes. Ok. So. Um, Can I make the groups now? Yes. Yes. Marco, eh, did, did you eat fish last weekend? And I answer the, the question, your question. Yes. Uh, let me see. Did you eat fish last weekend? No, I didn't. Entonces yo no escribo su nombre y sigo con la siguiente persona. Right. Voy a escribir el nombre hasta que encuentre a alguien que sí lo hizo. Yes. All right. Y ahí seguimos okay. con la siguiente pregunta y así. All right. Hi teacher, you send the screenshot to the group. No. Teacher. <laughs> The, the questions to the group, you send it. I send the presentation. You can find the, the question, I mean, the uh, ideas to make the questions right. in the presentation. All right. This moment I reviewed them. All right. You're gonna check. Yeah. See, I have the, the presentation. Miren, Katia, este, entendí right. muy bien. That's good. De hecho, la actividad right. se, se llama así, find someone who, encuentra a alguien que. Find someone who, ajá, uh -huh. yeah. Uh -huh. Yeah, ajá. 
Exactly. Okay. Perfect. We'll see you. Puedo hacer dos preguntas. Two questions more. Did you did you go to work today? Salimos ayer. Today. Did you? No. Yes, no, on Saturday. Right. Did you go to work on last Saturday? Yes, I did. Yes, I did. Yes, I did. <laughs> okay. No, I didn't. Okay. No problem, me too. <laughs> Only with my friends. <laughs> <laughs> no le engañan, no se pene, no. Pero Hi, que la if, you que can, le... if you can turn on your video cameras, that would be great because remember that the class has been recorded. And um, if you have your camera off, um, it, it is not recorded. Yes, teacher, because uh, I have a problem. Está porque vi una diligencia, teacher, por eso la tengo apagada, pero ya voy a ir a la casa otra vez. Ah, bueno. Ahí para que porque ya saben que les cuentan los minutos, ¿verdad? Y si no yes, aparecen teacher. conectados, no les van a poner los minutos aunque estén. Mhm. Uh -huh. No más les digo, ¿verdad? Teacher. That's my obligation. <laughs> teacher, verdad que es necesario tenerlas todas, verdad? Con que sea una o dos, verdad? Porque somos. Lo varios. que pueden hacer es esto, miren. Ahí nos hemos estado hablando las preguntas. Pregunten una o dos cada uno y de las no, respuestas no, no, que van no. escuchando ustedes escriben de las respuestas que van dando todo. Pero por lo menos hagan sí. una o dos cada uno. Sí, dos, dos, dos hecho. Ya le voy a pasar, lo voy a detener ya casi porque es hora de pasar la asistencia. Ah, oh, ya pasó. Pero Así es que pregunta, pregunta pero... ahorita. You have two minutes to ask okay. each other. Interview, interview. Me Alfredo. Alfredo, Alfredo. Hello. Eh, Hello. Did you go to bed late last night? Yes, I did. All night. Okay. Did you want night? Night wish. Night. Yes, he do, did. Así, ah, ¿verdad, Ticha? La que la respuesta es, yes, he did, ¿verdad, Ticha? Uh -huh. Ok, ya pues estamos. Finish. That's great. Bye. Uh, plus and 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 subject plus verb plus así mm -hmm. complement así es verdad tiche la tiche solo yeah. nos mira ya ya nos está dirigiendo <ríe> <ríe> no, a ver qué estamos hablando dice no pero es good me gusta el aprendizaje por descubrimiento. 
Es que yo tengo esa duda, Tiche, porque mi pregunta es si el DIR siempre lo vamos a ver antes de, en, en, cuando es pregunta, siempre vamos, va a estar antes de un, de, de, de subject. Yes. Siempre, siempre. Así como en do. Do you like the English class? Did you like the English class last Friday? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So it's similar. Okay. okay, guys. Let's continue. Let me share the screen for you. And now, or before I share the screen, tell me. <clears throat> tell, okay, me tell me what you found. Who ate fish last weekend? Me va a pasar lista, teacher. Yes, I have to. Yeah, thank you so much. You see, sometimes <laughs> I forget it. You know, it's Monday. And when it's Monday, ni la gallina ponen, dicen. Pero nosotros sí, ¿verdad? Trabajamos. We work, we study. Permítanme un momentito. Como que está trazado ahí el movimiento. <risa> sí, sí, fíjense que tengo muchos problemas con el internet hoy. No sé si es por la señal que... que eh, sí, porque hay un momento que le escucho, teacher, pero no veo que se le mueva la boca. Sí, yo estoy teniendo problemas con el internet. Y ya intenté de dos maneras, pero ninguna de las dos. Creo que... Bueno. Ando una nube encima de, de su teléfono. Sí, casa. a lo mejor aquí ahorita viene la lluvia, la tormenta. <risa> se está viniendo. Tal vez no se le va la luz. In the Congo City it's raining. It's ah, mama. de verdad que se escucha fuerte. Ah, popa. Todavía no, no se ha venido fuerte. <risa> Todavía no. En yeah, Popa City, nothing. Bien, que va a llover aquí también. ¿Ya es teacher, do you think? Ok. Ah, Fátima. Thank you, Fátima. Vaya, vamos a ver. Alba Dinora Vides. Present. Alfredo Alexander. Present. Carla Maritza Sánchez. Present. Carlo Cualberto Rodríguez. Present. Cristina Roxana Romero de Araujo. Domingo Alexander González. Fátima Gracias. del Carmen no Present. José Matías Lemus. Aquí estoy. Karina y Emilia de Espinosa Ventura. Present. Marco David. Present teacher. Marlon Cardona. Ahí dice present el teacher. El chat. Mauricio Alexander. Thank you. Mauricio Mahano. Present teacher. Maideli Judith. Estaba de oyente ella. Nancy Rodríguez. Present. Katia Maritza. Present, teacher. Salvador Edgardo. Present, teacher. Sandra Velázquez. Hoy tapándose los ojos. Víctor. Como el monito tapándose los ojos. Walter González. Present. William Pérez. Ok, thank you so much. Por ahí oí que dijeron como el monito tapándose los ojos. <laughs> That's one of my favorite emojis. I send it very often. Sorry, but... But, but, but in, this, in this moment, I am a babysitter of my mm -hmm. 
<laughs> that's why, that's why. Okay, Marlon said present. Very good, guys. So tell me, who I fished last weekend? A ver, ¿qué encontraron? What did you find? Mauricio ate fish last weekend. Oh, I also ate fish on Saturday. I have fish for lunch. Okay, who make who made lunch yesterday? Matias. Matias. Okay, me too. Who watched TV yesterday afternoon? Carla. Carla, okay. Yes, what Sandra, Alba. Sandra and Alba, okay. Who did the laundry last No, la escuché. Who did the laundry last weekend? Nadie, nadie lavó su ropa. <laughs> Como no? Volver, Carlos. I didn't because there wasn't water. Okay. So, what? Who chatted on Facebook last night? No one. Ah, nadie mira el Facebook. Nobody. <laughs> okay. Who went to bed late last night? Eh, Alfredo. Mauricio Sandra. Alfredo dijo que sí. Went yes, to bed late. Did. Okay. What about your ideas? Tell me about the ideas. I heard some of you also asking different questions. I have to play video game last night. Who? ¿Quién? No, yo juego. <laughs> ok, Ay. Alfredo, play Ay. video game. <laughs> Any other idea? Alba, Sandra, and Mauricio work last Saturday. And the teacher too. <laughs> Work on Saturday. Okay. Thank you for participating in the activity. Now, guys, um, let's see what's next. Now we're gonna use the handbook. Oh, wow, we, it took a lot this activity. Okay, in the activity, in the next activity. Um Yes, Matias. Now I have the formula. Since you like math, this is the English formula for the simple pass. Yes, no questions, okay? So in the questions, okay. we use the auxiliary did plus the subject plus the verb in base form plus the complement. And you can see... I'm sorry. Ya lo había notado. And you can see the um, the example. For example, we have: Did you buy tomatoes today? Yes. Yes, today. I did. No, I didn't. Yes, I did today. Okay. <laughs> did Alfredo buy tomatoes today? No, I didn't. No, he didn't. Okay. Did um, Nancy buy tomatoes today? No, I didn't. Okay, so she didn't buy, no. Nancy didn't buy tomatoes today. Okay. So, uh, I'm sorry, did you ask a question? Hmm. Oh, 
question. And did you book too much today? Eh, se podría decir, did, did you play eh, video game yesterday? Yes, it's correct. Correct. Okay, now let's see the next activity. Bueno, no sé, yo creo que por el tiempo quizá vamos a omitir lo de los role plays de last Friday because of the time. Okay. Maybe we, we can do it on the days of the review. And we're gonna continue with the activity in this another, this is another conversation. Please listen to me. This is a conversation between Luis and Janet. Luis says, did you enjoy the seminar? Yes, I did. I learned a lot. Tell me more. I updated my networking skills. I learned to move from small to a smart talk. Great. So did you make new contacts? Yes, I did. I exchanged business cards with 10 people. Awesome. Okay. What are they talking about? The, what are they talking about? What are Luis and Janet talking about in this conversation? The about hablando the, la conversación? Seminar? the seminar? Oh, exactly, about a seminar they attended. And um, what was the seminar about? Networking skills. Okay, uh, and that's technology. Good. Networking skills. Do you have an idea of what networking is? Yes, networking is uh no, no sé cómo decirlo en inglés. Señor, eh, networking es el, la red de, o la tecnología de comunicación en cuanto a redes. Ok, networks, ajá, redes. El networking in the business world is an English term that refers to the skills of getting in touch with other professionals, with other businesses, with other companies have uh, more options for for negotiations and also for um, um, getting a, a other jobs. Mm -hmm. So is to have more contacts. That's why in the conversation, Janet says that she exchanged business cards, Change. right? Business cards. And that she made new contacts. Mm -hmm. Chicos, ¿me pueden escuchar? Yes, teacher. Yes. Yes. Ay, yo me siento yes. todo trabada. Yes, teacher. <laughs> Voy a intentar con este otro internet. O de seguro que tener, yo me meto con, bueno, Opera, el que tiene el teléfono, el, el, la compu. <clears throat> Hello. 
Hey. <ríe> Me Ay, congelé sí. un ratito. Todavía está congelada. Ay, Dios mío. Quizás no. voy a apagar mi cámara por un momento. No, teacher. No, teacher. No. Sí se le ve y se le escucha bien. Ah, ok. <ríe> Matías. <ríe> Vaya, chicos. Eh, solo quisiera dos voluntarios que les gustaría practicar la conversación en frente de todos. Two volunteers, please. Marco. Ok, Marco. M. Carlos Walberto. Marco, you're going to be Luis. And Carlos, you are going to be. Or oh, you are going to read what Janice says. Pero háganlo con sus palabras, bueno, con sus nombres. <laughs> Marco, you start. All right. Uh, did you en enjoy the seminar? Or yes. Carlos? Yes, yeah. I did. I learned a lot. Tell me more. I update my networking skill. I learned to move. From a small to a smart talk. Great. So did you make new contacts? Yes, I did. I exchanged business cards with 10 people. Awesome. Awesome. <laughs> good job, guys. Very good. So if you notice, the just no question is with using these and the verb is in this in the base form. But in affirmative sentences, you use uh, the verb in past. For example, I learned a lot. I updated my networking skills. I learned to move from a small to smart, smart talk. Another question, did you make new contacts? Yes, I did. I exchanged business cards with 10 people. Okay, now let's choose the answer to the questions. Compare with a partner. Did Luis go to a seminar? Yes, he did or no, he didn't. Yes, he did. Yes, he did. Did Luis go to a seminar? Yes, he did. Yes, he did. Look at the conversation again. No, he didn't. No, he didn't. Who went to the seminar? Janet. 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 Number two, did Janet update her networking skills? Yes, yes. she did. Yes, she did. Did Janet learn to go from a small to a smart talk? No, she did. No, she did. No, she did. Yes, she did. She did. She said, I learned to move from small to smart talk. Did Luis exchange business cards with 10 people? No, he, he didn't. Did no, he didn't. Oh. Who exchanged the business cards? Janet. 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 What are the answers for yes, no questions? Como son yes, no questions, the answers are yes or no. In the negative, use yes, the subject, and did. Or no, the subject, and didn't. <laughs> As a short answer to questions about the past. Ajá, entonces, eso es lo que utilizamos para responder. Any questions until here? ¿Hay alguna pregunta hasta el momento? No. Ok. Let's continue. Mm 
Vaya, miren aquí. Les voy a presentar. I'm going to present to you a video about pronunciation of ED endings. How do we pronounce the regular verbs? Ok, vamos a ver. Antes de que vean el video, para que tengan una idea, vamos a ver acá. Los, ¿Cuáles son las tres formas en cómo terminan los regular verbs? Decíamos. ID. 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 Ok. ID, ID, and ID. But esos son the spelling rules. Son los, las reglas de escritura. But there are some pronunciation rules. Also, or three ways to pronounce the ED. Por ejemplo, with the verbs that end in K, K sound, K, K sound, or ch, ch, or ch sound, the pronunciation is similar to the t, t. For example, al otros verbos, con la mayoría es just d, d. For example, appeared, called, hugged, received, smiled, traveled, and tried. And then with those words that end in consonant like or like T or D, we use the id sound. Example, greeted, invited, landed, spotted, started, visited, and wanted. Um, um, well, if not, guys, you can watch it. I will try to send you the link directly to your WhatsApp group, to the WhatsApp group, because I think the internet is not going to work for me this evening for the video, okay? But sure. I highly recommend Rachel's.com channel. She has great videos on YouTube about learning English, uh, such as the one that I sent this afternoon about thinking in English and do not translate it. Mm -hmm. the, um, were you able to watch it? Yes. También creo que alguien mandó algo sobre esto, ¿verdad? Hace unos días atrás, <coughs> las reglas del ED. Y aquí está resumido. There are three different ways to pronounce the ED ending of regular verbs in the simple past tense. It or the. The pronunciation depends on the sound at the end of the infinitive of the verb. Thank you so much for sending the link for the YouTube for yeah, the channel of Rachel, Rachel's channel. So this is the least common ED sound, words than any T. In ED, for example, wanted, needed, started, decided. And then we have words that end in P, K, F, sh, and ch sound, kissed, laughed, asked, stopped, watched, washed. And the most common is the ED sound. Worse than any in any other sound, for example, closed, saved, troubled, opened, climbed, 